What's up guys? Back with my trusty piece of paper today guys. So <laughs> I, I had a request. I hope all of you are doing well by the way. Let me start off the right way. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you're all healthy. I hope you're all safe. Okay, so now that we have moved past the introduction and after we have found out that hopefully you guys are all well, we're going to get into a request that I had not long ago. Somebody had asked me if I could do a review on something called a, give me one moment, a form, F-O-R-M-E, Studio Lift, or something along those lines, Form Studio Workout Machine, Form Studio, right? So, uh, excuse me, okay, yeah, Form Studio, right? All right, so we're gonna get into that today. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you off the bat, this is not gonna be like a super in-depth Super detailed review. The reason why is you'll find out soon enough. You'll find out soon enough. But I'm going to cover what I think is super important for you guys to know. Things that I don't believe the website brings out. Okay, because I I actually had I didn't I didn't know that I had. But I actually found this website about the Form Studio when I was looking for home gym equipment. When I found the Tonal. So when I was doing reviews. Excuse me, when I was looking for reviews on the tonal and finding almost nothing, um, I found this website about the Form Studio. Now, there's two versions of the Form Studio. You have the Form Studio, okay, which is basically a gigantic mirror, <laughs> okay? Now, it's pretty much, if you guys know, the, you know the workout machine called the mirror, the one that has a trainer on the other end and you're over there, you're, they're telling you to jog faster and you're buying your own weights and you're using your own equipment. It's basically that. It's basically that. It's just a gigantic mirror that goes on your wall and it tells you what to do. It exercises with you because it's got a live trainer on the other end. They're streaming classes or whatever. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, now give or take a couple of, of bells and whistles, it's pretty much the same thing. Remember, this is not a super in-depth review. There's a website that I can even link in, this, in the description for the Form Studio so you guys can take a look at it if that's something that you're into. Um, but I'm not going to go into super detail because there's a website about it. And you can pretty much find almost all that you need to know from that website. All the stuff you can't find from that website, I'm going to try to give you what I, my, I've noticed and what I um, have discovered in trying to do some research on this machine. There's two pieces. Like I said, you have the form um, studio, which is basically just a gigantic mirror. And then you have the form lift. Now, the form studio, from what I understand, it's a little less expensive than the tonal, uh, but not by too much. So it's in the ballpark of the tonal, okay? Now, it's, its brother or sister machine, the Form Studio Lift, is called the Lift because it actually has arms that are similar to Tonal's arms. It has arms that come out, and it has weight training in the machine. Now, there is not actual weights in the machine. It is being utilized by a... Uh, a motor. So it's basically, from what I understand, from what I understand, it's two lines, cables that are being, uh, that are constantly under tension because of a motor. And that machine is going to give you a weight like feel, which, from what I understand, is actually going to take a lot of the momentum, just like Tonal has like no momentum with it. When you lift the arm from Tonal, you're like this. I excuse me. When you're like this, you gotta force that thing up with the tonal. With regular weight, you're like swinging your arm because it's like you got momentum, right? Apparently, the Form Studio lift will not allow you to utilize momentum as much as with a regular dumbbell. What that means exactly, I'm not sure. Okay, because um, the rep that I spoke to who told me this told me that the Form Studio Lift, the one, the studio version that has the weight, the one that would be most comparable to the tonal, is not even out for sale yet. I believe the studio, I believe the studio is out, but the lift is not. 
Now, I got to be honest with you guys. I actually don't think the studio is being sold yet. The regular one without the arms. And I don't think the lift, the one with the arms, is being sold yet. The reason why is there's no reviews on it. There are zero reviews on it. It's got a very nice website. It's nice and happy looking and it makes you feel good. You go on it and you're like, oh, is this too good to be true? I got a mirror and it tells me what to exercise and this and that. It's got the usual thing that all the websites have. It looks really pretty. Now, this is supposed to, this machine is supposed to have the best image, the best like 4K quality or something like that, the best quality image that you can get on an exercise equipment, piece of ex exercise equipment out there, better than the mirror from what I understand. Um, it's supposed to look really pretty. Now, if I was going to buy one of those, I would not buy the regular one that just, that has no arms. I would buy the lift because I, I'm into bodybuilding. I don't want to buy a mirror that simply tells me how to exercise and now I got to go buy my equipment and stuff like that. So that's not worth it to me. You guys know that I feel that the mirror, the, the actual mirror gym, we'll call it a gym, right? The mirror trainer that exists is, in my opinion, it's a scam. I think it's a joke. You could get more than the mirror offers on YouTube, in my opinion, and for a lot less money. So, but that's my opinion. Now, keep in mind, guys, this form studio that we're talking about doesn't e exist yet. So right now, this website is full of empty promises. It's full of empty promises. Right now, you're going to pay for the machine. You're going to go on a list. And you're going to wait for that machine because apparently the list is long. I don't know. But you're going to wait for a machine that still currently you can't even test unless you find a testing facility. And even if you find a testing facility, you don't know if what you're going to get when the machine comes out is going to actually be the same thing as what you test in the facility, because there's constantly, I mean, why isn't it out yet? You know what I mean? They're still doing something. Something's still going on. So it's clearly not ready to be out yet. From what I understand, it's going to be out late next year. Okay. So this is all to me right now, a gimmick. So if I, no, excuse me, wrong word, not a gimmick. It's, uh, an empty promise until I see it come to fruition. It's an empty promise, not a gimmick. I'm not saying it's a gimmick. Um, until it comes out on the market and I can physically see it and I can get it in my house, I'm not depending on this company to deliver. Now, you can go ahead and you can order it. You could be on the list. And if you have all the time in the world and you don't care about getting your machinery quickly, you can order that. You can check it out. It's got 30 day money back guarantee. You can use that thing to your heart's content within 30 days and return the whole thing for every penny if you don't like it. So if you're into that and you don't want to like get the tonal, you want to experiment, guys, theoretically, you can literally buy the tonal, use it for 30 days. And if the, if the form studio is out at that time, you can also return the tonal and then you can buy the form and put that on your wall and you can test it out for 30 days. Theoretically, I'm not suggesting you do that, but that's, that's what you can do. Right. So now the form studio comes with some more bells and whistles than the tonal currently does. Right. It has voice control from what the representative told me. You can actually it, the one that is nowhere near coming out yet. The one, the lift, the form studio lift, the one with the, the weight on it. Um, it's going to have something called fatigue detection. And she compared it to spotter mode on tonal because I asked her I said is this thing anything like my tonal and she compared the fatigue detection to spotter mode on tonal okay so she said that they plan on that machine they plan because it's not in existence yet they plan on that machine being able to lower the weight when it senses that you're fatigued now that's pretty cool right that's that's pretty awesome um I guess if you're into that, as you guys know, I shut spotter mode off when I'm on this because spotter mode kind of limits my workouts. Um, let's see. What else do we have? So it's going to have active resistance from the arms. So the motor is constantly under tension and it's going to give you a very strong feel. It should be stronger. Um, it should feel heavier than regular weights. So if you're doing 10 pound dumbbell over here, but you're doing uh, 10 pound on the lift, the studio form studio lift, it should feel heavier on the lift. Because it has a constant tension, it's taking the momentum away, 
it's supposed to feel heavier. All right. Um, so it's got that active resistance. All right. Um, it's got 75 pounds per arm. Now, tonal has 100 pounds per arm. Okay. I already would like to see tonal have more weight, but that's just because I'm greedy. Because honestly, guys, I don't think that I'm going to max out on this machine anytime soon. But because I'm greedy and I like to kind of plan for the future, I would have loved to see if Tonal had more weight on it. But keep in mind, this thing's mounted to studs in your wall. So I don't know if you could go much heavier because it's mounted to studs in your wall. So keep that in mind. You don't want to rip your wall down, okay? So maybe that's why they don't go higher than that yet. I don't know. Just me throwing it out there. But so this machine has 75 pounds per arm, which equals to 150 pounds in total for the form lift. Okay. It also has another version. It has the form lift number one that goes in your wall, then has a form lift two, which you don't have to put in your wall. It actually is weighted. So if you can't drill into your wall or you don't have studs or you want to put it in a place that doesn't have a wall, it has weights in it to make it heavy and it will allow you to not have to bolt it to your wall. But that one will only have 50 pounds per arm rather than the 75 pounds. Okay. So keep that in mind. It's a cool option to have. I like the idea in case you can't put it in a wall. You have that. All right. So this machine, the form lift, it is appealing because it has weight. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous and you can use it as a regular mirror. You can use it as a trainer. It's got weight on it. It seems pretty cool. The fact that it's got that active tension. So it takes away the momentum. I don't necessarily like that 75 pounds only per arm, but it is what it is. So that will work very well for some people, especially if it feels heavier than what it regular 75 pounds feels like. Okay. Uh, the fact that it'll have a spotter detection shows that the company is looking at other machines, like maybe the tonal, and it's trying to get ideas on how we can get as good or close to the tonal. Okay. Um, now it's got the voice control. Hey, form, form lift, lower the music, raise the music, play the music. I don't know. Whatever it's going to do, it's going to do. It's got all this crazy stuff in it. So it's got some bells and whistles. Now, guys, right now, it's got a different vibe than Tonal, in my opinion. Tonal looks like it belongs in a gym. I love that, but it also looks elegant. I, it also looks elegant. When you tuck these arms away, it looks pretty, but it looks rugged. You know what I mean? The, the form looks like a mirror, so it looks pretty. It looks beautiful. It looks glamorous. It looks classy. It looks high-end. Um, and with the display that it has, it's going to be pretty high end looking, but keep in mind right now, until I see one in person, in someone's house, in a real person's house, like you or me, it's an empty promise in my opinion, until I see one. Okay. Now I think currently it's more flashy than anything. Why do I say that? Do I think that it's useless? Do I think that it would not help you to build muscle? Let's say it worked perfectly and it was a good machine and the quality is good and it looks good and it acts good and, and there's no problems with it. Do I think it's worthless? No, I don't. Not if it works the way it says it's going to work. But what I don't particularly, I think it is more flashy than anything. It has some like uh, some famous designer's name attached to the machine. Apparently this designer, you know, he invented it or he made the, uh, what it looks like. Um, you know, so his hand is in it and he's famous or something like that. I don't know. I think it, I think it's less of a gym. Let me put it like, this. I think it's less of a gym and more of something to showcase in your home. Does that mean it's not going to work for a gym? No, it does not mean that. You know, it's got a trainer in there. It's got live classes. It's going to have weight. As long as all that stuff works correctly, you have the capability to have a very nice home gym. Now, something I would keep in mind though is one doesn't exist yet. Keep that in mind. Okay. And, um, two, it's not going to have all the modes that tonal has something that made me 
comfortable with tonal and tonal only having 200 pounds of digital weight on it was the fact that it's got all these modes. It's got spotter mode. It's got, um, it's got, um, forgive me, smart flex mode. It's got change mode. It's got eccentric mode. It has burnout mode. It's got all these modes. Why is that important to remember? This other machine, the form lift, unless they change it, it doesn't have any of these modes. So that means that you are truly left with the weight that the machine is made with. With tonal, let's say you somehow maxed out on its 200 pounds digital weight. You have these modes that condition your muscles in different ways to allow for you to still benefit greatly from the same amount of weight that comes with tone. This form is not gonna have that from what I understand. So you're stuck with weight that's lower than tonal already and it's not gonna have these, these modes. Like I said, this machine looks like it's truly built to work out. The other thing, in my opinion, makes me feel like it's more built for fun and this is cool kind of a vibe. And you can also work out with it too. That's the way, that's the vibe I get. Am I right? I don't know. I've never seen one. I've never seen a review on it. It doesn't exist at this point. It doesn't exist. So I, another thing that I looked at before I bought Tonal was guys, I saw like no reviews on this, no honest reviews on this, which is why I, I have this channel to give you an honest review. But the thing that made me feel more comfortable with Tonal was the fact that Tonal is a company that has existed for over a couple of years. Now, is a couple of years a long time as far as companies go to exist? No, not at all. But something that gave me peace in my heart when I spent the $5,000, a little under $5,000 on this machine, when I took that $5,000 leap of faith, the thing that made me feel comforted was it's been around for a few years. Guys, I don't know about you, but I never buy a brand new car. I will always wait until the model, I will never buy a brand new model of a car. Because every single time, let me put it like this, there's always a kink. There's always a kink. Now, my, my car that I have, it's a 2009 Scion TC. It's a beater, right? But when it was brand new, it was the, I think, third edition of, or the fourth, the f third or fourth year that they made it. So they worked out all the kinks. The first edition of the, of that Scion TC that came out, when you blasted the music, the sunroof would shatter. So maybe when Tonal first came out back a few years ago, before they updated some, some of the machinery, maybe there was problems. But now it's been a couple of years and they maybe worked out those kinks. I never like to buy something that's brand new off the assembly line because guys, there's too many chances. I like to see that something has been used for a couple of years and it's been good for a couple of years. Of course, you're always going to have the dud. You could buy a brand new car that they've, that it's the third year of that model. It looks like they worked out all the kinks, but all of a sudden the engine fails. Of course. But you have a better chance if it's not brand new off the assembly line. No one's ever used it before. No one's had a trial run with it for a year. You know what I mean? It's, it's a chance. So keep that in mind. You're taking a chance. And it still right now doesn't exist. So you're still going to have to wait. If you want to wait, that's fine. But you're going to have to wait a while. And I don't know about you guys. I don't want to wait a while. I don't. I want, I want my body to be fixed now. I want to be able to work on my machine now. I want what I want now, and I want to know that what, my, what I'm purchasing is real and it's been used for a decent amount of time, the tonal has. So I can't recommend that you get the form because I've never seen it, never used it, and no one has it. So, and the form lift, well, the form lift, the, the, the one with the weights. I don't care about the regular form, the one without the arms, because that looks like a gimmick to me. It looks like a waste of money. Now, so that's why I'm not doing an in-depth review, guys, because there's too many variables. It's still not new. We don't know enough about it for me to give you an in-depth review. If you need more information on the form or the form lift, you can check out their website. They have relatively detailed information on there. And customer service for the form lift got back to me immediately. 
I emailed them. They got back to me immediately. Within like, I'm talking like maybe four or five hours. So that's not bad, okay? The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is there's a lot of machinery that's getting thrown at you right now. I don't know about you guys, but on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere, there's ads, 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 ads for home workout equipment. And all of them got trainers in them. All of a sudden, everybody is like, we got trainers, we got trainers, come to our machinery, come to our machinery. I'll give you an example. You ever heard of a Jack's Jock? I think that's how you refer to it. I think it's called a Jack's Jock or something like that. It's basically this big, bulky looking kind of a gym studio, I guess. And it looks super fancy and it looks super futuristic. And, you know, it probably plays music. It's got a trainer in it, a live class. They play live classes, they stream live classes or whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, I want to bring your attention to something, something you need to be careful with. Guys, that's a regular standard gym. Like it might have a heart rate monitor. It might, it might have Bluetooth weights where like you press the button, you say, I want five pounds, doot, 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 five pounds. And the machine gives you the five pounds on the dumbbell. But guys, at the end of the day, it's just a dumbbell. So if you want that in your life, that's fine. It looks cool. And I'm sure it works well. But it's still just a fancy weight set. Tempo, the Tempo Studio. The Tempo Studio is just a fancy weight set, but it has a trainer. So you're spending these thousands of dollars and you're spending the subscription for a fancy regular weight set and a trainer. The mirror looks super elegant. They're selling you a flashy YouTube, in my opinion. Yes, it has a heart rate monitor. It has the music. They are streaming live classes. Technically, it's got a trainer in it. Technically, yes. But in my personal opinion... That's all it has to offer. It only has to offer some superficial things. You can get amazing trainers on YouTube, guys. You Without the monthly subscription, without spending thousands of dollars. I mean, if the, if the mirror came with weights, all right, fine. I can justify it in my own mind, but at least you're getting some weights. But guys, it's a fancy way to get your money. And they're doing a great job. Just like this Jack's Jock thing. All right, no problem. There's some tech involved, you know, it's got some technology in it. But at the end of the day, you're paying thousands with, and on top of that, you're paying a monthly subscription. They, all these companies got monthly subscriptions for regular conventional workout systems. All right. Tonal is not conventional. When you pull on this arm, and you pick tonal up, you have the option of all these different modes that build your body in different ways. They will condition your body in different ways. They force your body to grow in different ways. None of these other machines, maybe the form, maybe the form studio lift will in some ways, have you grow a little better. Maybe, we don't know yet, because it does not yet exist. But this machine currently, right now, is the only thing that has all these modes, that has all the, all the promise that it's going to build you up, break you down to build you up, bigger and better than you ever were, faster than you ever thought possible, and it exists right now, today. So guys, if you're asking me, does the Form Studio Lift look good? It looks good. It does look good. It's very pretty. Does it look like it will help you build muscle? Yes, it does to me right now. If all of it works the way they say, it will. But it doesn't currently exist. I don't want to wait over a year or however long it's going to take for it. I don't want to be the first one to buy it and find out that the thing breaks down. There's a problem with it. Um... I don't want to find out that the weight's too little and it doesn't have dynamic weight modes like Tonal does. 
to make up for the fact that the weight's too little. I don't want to deal with that. At least I know what I got. And Total was around for a few years before I had already purchased one. So I did the research, saw that it was around for a couple of years, and I felt more comfortable. This form thing is brand new, from what I understand. So you, you're gonna be the, the <laughs> you're gonna be the the test. You know what I mean? If you buy one of them forms, someone's gonna buy it. Someone's gonna do a review on it, and they might tell you it's great. And at that point, I would feel more comfortable. I would still want to wait about a year. Let me see the review that says form lift a year in my results or whatever. You know, I would wait to see that. So guys. At the end of the day, be careful on what you're purchasing. Companies are taking advantage right now, guys. COVID-19, companies are taking advantage. They're like, oh, we're going to we're gonna get some regular weight sets. We're going to polish them up. We're going to put some Bluetooth on them, and we're going to put a pretty screen, and we're going to make this guy, uh, give this guy a subscription that he's going to pay us for the rest of his life for. Guys, be careful. Make sure what you're buying is worth the money. I would not want to buy a shiny, brand new spin on regular conventional weights. I would not want to do that. I'll just buy regular weights. At the end of the day, guys, would I buy a Tempo? I would not. Because I have YouTube. YouTube's not as pretty as the Tempo. Maybe. But I have YouTube and I can get some regular dumbbells. That's what you're getting. The only thing you're missing is like the trainer. Because you can buy a heart rate monitor separate. So all you're missing is the trainer. But if you have YouTube, you have trainers. You have people interacting with you. You can rewind the video, guys, if you need more clarification. You have billions of videos on YouTube on how to exercise, how to train. So guys, would I buy the conventional system... If it was shiny and new and a brand new twist, absolutely not. I would buy some regular stuff unless you truly want a trainer, a virtual trainer so bad that you're willing to spend the money on the subscription. I wouldn't do it. All right. So be careful what you're buying. The store, the, the, the form studio lift looks pretty cool. It's not going to be the same from what I can see from their website right now. It's not going to be the same as Tonal. Total, in my opinion, will still be better. And until the review comes out that shows me that Form Studio Lift is better, I'm with the Tonal. If you want something more flashy looking, maybe you go with the Studio Lift. That's up to you. This is flashy enough for me. I'm the only one seeing it. I'm the only one using it. And it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's not It's not half, uh, half, um, what's, what's the word? It's not trying to be fancy and it's not trying to build my body at the same time. It's just like, hey guys, I'm here to work. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is about. And it still looks pretty. Still looks pretty. All right, guys. So I hope this was helpful. I really hope that that it it gave you some insight. And um, I look forward, guys, to talking to you soon at the next video. I hope it was again. I hope it was helpful. Be safe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, Again, I just want to mention, I mentioned in the last video that I put up. If for some reason you guys hit me up on YouTube and I don't get back to you right away, I'm not ignoring you. If I don't answer a comment, if I don't answer a question, it's because I was not notified by YouTube. For some reason, there's a glitch. But feel free. Write the comments, guys. I'm getting most of them. I'm getting 99.9% of them. But there's a couple that slip by YouTube's notifications. Eventually, I'll see them. But it may just take a minute. And if you can't and you need, uh, you can't wait and you need to reach me fast, hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is in the... Um, It's in the description as well as in my about section on YouTube. All right, guys, take care. Be safe. Talk to you soon.